Michael Sandel said, economics is a subfield of moral and political philosophy. This is important to me because it is quite a cliche that money can't buy happiness, but it is extremely evident that people will do anything to achieve money to gain a sense of power and security no matter the cost. Nothing in our society is done without politics and it is clear that the wealthy people are the ones in control. I recently watched this documentary called What the Health and they talk about big corporations like Dannon and Yum and they control our food industry, but they also control our health industry. Money is so important to these companies that they do research that is biased towards saying that the food that they're selling is healthy. I'm sure you've heard of Dan and Yogurt and um, the company that has the Got Milk campaign. And I'm sure I'm not the only kid that went to a school that had these posters everywhere and we were required to grab milk with our school lunch even if you weren't going to drink it. Milk actually has very little nutritional value and is filled with hormones and it doesn't have nearly as much calcium as they taught growing up. The same companies that own KFC also fund research for American diabetes, cancer, and heart association. Money is a major flaw in our society and realistically affects our everyday health. Many people put extreme trust in our government, but if you look deeper into it, money and corruption are overflowing. It is easy to think that the food you are eating isn't harmful and even easier to believe that individual people wouldn't use their power to harm others, but our world is run on people trying to make money. Mass farming helps our hunger crisis, but it's just filling our world with unhealthy food and it makes people go on drugs to help cure like obesity, diabetes, people get cancer, lots of unhealthy things because of the food that we're eating. Um, it's also very ironic that the same people that own these big fast food chains and other unhealthy organizations, they sit on boards like the FDA and other health organizations that like try to tell people like, oh, this chicken is really good for you when realistically it's so unhealthy for you, but they want to sell their product. Food is also really important for mental health because there's a direct correlation between the food that we ingest and the level of happiness and energy that people face. I agree with Michael Sandals because economics is ultimately what controls our morals and our politics. Seeking the good life is so important, but it's equally valuable to be aware of what you're ingesting and not trusting the things just placed in front of you. Research is always a good idea when trying to find happiness and learning about the daily habits that you have. I'm sure people don't think twice about the kind of cereal that they're eating or the yogurt that they're eating or even eggs that they're eating. Who would have thought that milk actually isn't good for you or that the American Diabetes Association would put recipes of meat on their website when there's been a direct correlation to meat and diabetes? It's hard to think that these people would do things to hurt other people, but it's easy to believe when you think of the amount of money that they're making.